Oh, lovely piece of music. What was it? That was a Italian mm. dance by Madeline Dring. Unfortunately, she died a couple of years ago, but she has written quite a bit of music for the mouth organ, I'm pleased to say. Oh, it's lovely. Tell me now, before you started playing the harmonica, or mouth organ, whatever you want to call it, were you, were you actually a musician? No, because music uh, was forbidden at my school, and, in fact, this was about the only school rule that I hadn't broken, that you were not allowed to play mouth organ, so I got one and started from there. And I grew to like the sound it makes so much that I carried on. Were you entirely self-taught? Well, I had um, two lessons from Tommy Riley, and then I couldn't afford him any longer, so apart from that, yes. So how did it evolve and develop with you? Well, I just bought myself a pop song and a pop record and learned where the notes were from that and learned how to read music from the record and went on from there. Could you show us something about the techniques of the instrument and mechanics as well? Well, the mouth organ basically is just a, a 12 hole box with 48 reeds in it. And if you blow and draw into one of these holes, you get two notes. If you press the button, you change the key of the instrument from C to C sharp. And one of the main techniques which a player has to have is the ability to breathe fast, like this is an inner out note. Wow. <laughs> it's quite easy, really. That's all with breath, is it? That's all with breath, yes. Tell me, why is it, why is it so obscure and why don't people know more about it? I think um, two reasons. One is financial. The kids nowadays can afford more conventional instruments and also people are afraid to be thought of listening to the poor old mouth organ and playing classical type music. Well, I've heard Larry Adler and Tommy Riley, mm -hmm. and I've worked with Tommy quite often, mm -hmm. and I've heard him make some beautiful sounds. And so why can't it be developed? What's the future for it now? Well, there are a lot of very, very good pieces of music. There are about 25 concertos with a full symphony orchestra. There are lots of sonatas. Um, uh, but I think that the future lies with more simple music, for a starter, with the multi-instrumentalists in schools. Um, children who play two or three instruments. And they regard it just as another instrument, which is good. Are they going to develop it as a solo instrument or as part of their ensemble, just musical education? Well, I think it's just as part of their education. And eventually, out of this mass of people who learn to play it in schools, one or two soloists will arise, which is as it should be. And you're going to play, play another solo now for us. Perhaps you can introduce it. Well, yes. I'm, I rather like the Cavatina, which is written for guitar. And this piece, which is called Cantilena and is by James Moody, I think is rather like it. <laughs> 